Hi, I'm Daphne Benzigan. I'm the creative designer and CEO of DAF, and we create handmade leather goods uh, that are made in Peru, where I'm originally from, using llama leather and sustainable um, practices as well. We also use baby alpaca fur that you'll see right there. The main mission, I guess, would say is giving back. Mm -hmm. So a portion of every purchase is given back to the Peruvian community. And so far this past year, in our first year of business, we were able to contribute to the building of a multi-sensory wing at a special needs school in the jungle of Peru. So I, as the founder, was able to go and visit the school and cut the ribbon and see the impact we had on the children as well as inaugurate a therapy pool to allow the kids to develop their senses and enter a uh, general schooling population by the age of five. So that is our main mission with the brand. So I wanted to talk a little bit about our baby alpaca fur because that does make us very different and it is incredibly soft. So this fur um, is from the baby alpacas and it isn't really a baby. The reason it is called baby alpaca fur is because it's the first time that the alpacas are shaved and that's what makes it so soft. And so these alpacas are shaved every three years in order to avoid overheating in the summertime. So it is a benefit to the animal, which is really important to me because I don't want any harm on the baby alpaca just because it has incredibly soft fur. <laughs> and something else unique about our pieces, um, it, on the inside we do have our logo here and you will see that we have this seed here, and it is part of our regular DAF logo. And this is called a Wairudo seed. And they are native to Peru. They are red and black, like our brand colors. And um, they are believed to bring the owner of the seed good luck. So you'll find them, it's like a little surprise in your bag, um, to bring you good luck when you, whether it's you know a job interview, just another day in the office. We wanted our customers to feel special and feel like a little piece of Peru is with them in every piece. So DAF is actually an acronym, I'm Daphne, but DAF also stands for Durable, Authentic, Polished, Handmade. Um, and so it is used, uh, made from llama leather, which is very different, also 15 times stronger than cattle leather, so that does make it stand out and makes it more durable. Um, but also, I'm a self-taught designer, so I was actually pre-med in college <laughs> and then ended up as an insurance broker, and now I'm a designer. <laughs> So it's really the passion that stems from me. I've always been a creative and I've loved drawing and painting and scrapbooking. So one day I just decided I was in grad school um, for business. And I was like, I've always wanted to own my own business. So my dad's a doctor and I saw him have his own practice growing up and being the boss. And that's something I always wanted, but obviously medicine didn't work out. So when I was in grad school, I was like, you know, I really want a backpack for myself. I want something that no one has. I always knew that Peru was known for its leather in the mountain region. And I was like, I want to show off Peru, its resources, its skills. Like, I'm proud to be Peruvian, and I want to share that with people here. So I did some makeshift drawing, and I was able to kind of grab manufacturers and go to Arequipa, which is where these are handmade, and um, meet with them and find one that really matched my goals and my vision. Together we were able to create my backpack, but also I realized I can make more of these pieces. And then a year later, back and forth in samples, um, we were able to release my first collection online. And it was welcomed by many, and people love the quality and the different colors, as you can see here. And it does have a signature weaving here, so I wanted to make sure I used as much of the leather as possible. So I do use the smooth part of the leather as well as the suede part, which is actually the other side. And it allows for a different kind of texture. And also we went as far as using the scraps of the bags to make dog collars. I didn't want anything to go to waste. And so um, to add a little touch, I handmade bow, and bows and bow ties for them here in St. Louis. So I added my own touch to that as well. I would like to emphasize that these are made in small batches. So I'm not mass producing these in Peru. I would actually go and visit um, the women who make them by hand and sew every single piece on here. So I don't mass produce them. They're made in sets of 20 or 50 amounts. So 
they are limited. And you know, once they're gone, <laughs> they're gone, yeah. unless I decide to restock them. So we do have a couple of bestsellers that I restock in different colors, but it does take about like three to six months for that to be completed because we are very picky of the quality, but we also need to make sure we're picking the right hides. Um, so that's really important to me. But also there's some designs that they're beautiful and people love them, but they are limited in quality, so they won't be restocked. So yeah. it's kind of like grab them while you, you can. Um, so that's something that's very different, but also remembering the mission behind everything, that it is, they are beautiful bags, they are great quality, but also you're making an impact to Peru. We're putting a spotlight on St. Louis as a you know, community that wants to help other countries and make an impact, whether it's buying a bag or directly donating to those organizations is really essential as part of the brand. Uh, June is National Cataract Awareness Month, and a lot of the children in um, the school that we help in Peru, they are blind, and the parents there, like, it takes, they don't have the resources to get them the help to fix the cataracts or, you know, to get them the support they need. So we're do donating a larger portion, 20% um, of our sales in the month of June will be going directly to the school and emphasizing on the children that are blind there. So that's really exciting. It's important that I have a personal connection with the community there. Like I want to be involved. I don't want to just write a check and send it off. I want to see what our impact you know, is producing over there and how we're helping people. And it really was amazing to go and see them and hear the um, stories from the parents and how much they learned and how thankful they were. That really made me feel good and you know makes everything worth it. So I definitely love the collaboration over competition. That is so important to me. Um, before I started, you know, I got into something I didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, I would never designed a handbag. And so I reached out to so many women that either made leather clutches or leather totes or just bags in general or were in the fashion industry and some weren't. And they just welcome me with open arms and I love that you know it's like okay we could be selling the same leather clutch but I'm willing to help you and be like have you talked to this person or what about this have you thought about that they were just so open to helping me grow which some people would see like why would you help your competitor and it's like no let's not see it like that let's we're all going together yes. if we all have different product offerings we're all special in our own way so why not just help each other and shine, you know, like show off how great this person is and these skills or this risk she took and look how great it turned out. Let's connect her with this other person. And, and some really cool collaborations have grown out of it. Um, and it just makes it more fun. <laughs>